In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft OneNote to mark up and make comments on laboratory reports for the peer review exercise of PHS 2062. The first thing you need to do is make a new section in your PHS 2062 logbook. I'm going to rename this to Peer Review. Don't worry about the page size or number of lines. We won't need those features for this exercise. There is an important setting we need to change though to make sure that OneNote doesn't insert multiple blank pages in the PDF printout of our finished peer review. Go to File, Options, Advanced, Printout, and if it isn't already, then uncheck the option to insert long printouts on multiple pages. You can then go to Insert and choose File Printout. I'm going to be selecting a PDF of the sample report we looked at during the writing workshop. I've now got the entire report here just pasted in as a massive raster image into this OneNote page. Now this might seem not very ideal, but it turns out this is a good way to get it printed. So now I can uh, zoom into the page and we're going to make some edits or comments to the sample report abstract. I'm going to select the uh, red pen tool and straight away I can just start uh, drawing on the report. I'm going to point out that this person has written a platitude here and also a grammatical error. If you like, you can also let the person that you're reviewing uh, know what you think of their abstract in terms of the classifications we looked at during the report writing workshop. Okay, so now we've made some edits and comments on the sample report abstract. Uh, we can now find out how to save this as a PDF. So I'm going to go out of full screen view. And now all you need to do is right click on this section title and go export, just as you would your weekly digital logbook. Choose PDF, and in this case we only need to um, export the selected pages because there's only one page that makes up the entire uh, report that we've been editing. And I'm going to rename this as a separate file. OneNote will then save the peer review as a PDF, and we can see what it looks like uh, in a PDF viewer. So the first page may have this title and file name that you inserted, but after that it's pretty clean. Of course, there's no comments on subsequent pages because I didn't make any, but you can see that that first page contains uh, everything we went through.